Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Bharat and in today's video we'll be touching upon the enrollment procedure, paying your semester contribution and setting up a university account. Now there are other steps that you should have finished before this and I've made videos for them, link in the description box below. But since I'm a student at the RWTH, this video will be focusing on the procedures at RWTH. Los geht's! Step 5. Paying your semester contribution. Now this varies anywhere between 250 to 300 euros per semester and it's mandatory for all students. You do have a couple of ways of paying a semester contribution, but given the current situation, making an online bank transfer is going to be your best option. Now the exact amount and bank details would have been sent along with your letter of admission. Step 6. Enrollment. Now this normally happens at Super C, the building that you see right behind me, but this year is a little different and the entire procedure happens online. Now the university already has a video of the online enrollment procedure, link to that in the description box below. But since RWTH already has a good video, we'll not be covering too much on the enrollment procedure, but rather moving on to the next step. Step 7. Setting up your university accounts. Now the first thing that you have to do after your enrollment is redeem your TIM activation code. Once you do this, you will receive your TIM ID, which is a combination of two alphabets and six digits. An example of this would be AB123456. This will be your username for all university services. Evetear self-service. Now this is where you can change your personal information like your contact details, address and apply for your blue card. The blue card is a student ID card issued to all RWTH students and in order to apply for your blue card you need to log in to the Evetear self-service, upload a passport size photograph of yourself and choose the type of card that you need. You have two types of cards, one with a chip and one without it and I'd always recommend that you go with the one with the chip, it doesn't cost anything extra and it makes life easier for making certain payments, for example at the Mensa. Edurome. Now this is RWTH's Wi-Fi system and every device that's connected to Edurome must have its own login credentials. The username and password can be created using Edurome Device Manager and in case your device gets stolen, you can block your device through Edurome Device Manager so that nobody misuses your Wi-Fi credentials. Evetea Online. Now this is where most of your course and exam related things take place. For example, under Study Overview is where you would register for your exams and courses. Under Exams is where you would see all your registered exams and if you decide not to take one, this is where you will deregister from it. Now under My Achievements is where you can see all your exam results and under Documents is where you can print out certificates like your enrollment certificate and transcript for example. And Evetea Online has a few more features but these are the most important ones. Evetea Moodle. Now this is where you find the learning material for all your courses. And in order to gain access to the learning rooms, you first have to register yourself for the courses through Evetea Online. Evetea Mail. Now there are two things that you have to keep in mind here. One, your TIM ID at evetea-aachen.de. An example of this would be AB123456 at evetea-aachen.de. And the other one is your first name dot your last name at evetea-aachen.de, which is what you would have created after activating your TIM account. Now if you're going to log in to your email address uh, through the web or through a phone application, you'd be using your TIM ID at evetea-aachen.de. Whereas, if you're going to share your email address with your friends or colleagues, for example, then you'd be using the other email address that you created, which is usually going to be your first name dot your last name at evetea-aachen.de. I hope these videos were helpful, and if they were, please do share them, and if you have any other video ideas, let me know in the comments below. Bis zum nächsten Video. Tschüss!